Hey, what's going on to all you guys and girls out there that are working hard? Just wanted to take a second and make a quick video for you. I made a video the other day about how to hook up your Fisher Minute Mount 2 plow to your truck. And then I was thinking about it and I thought that's only really half the process because once you get it on, at some point, uh, you're going to have to take it off. So I just want to show you very quickly how to take the plow off the truck. Uh, I went into a little bit of detail on the last video on how to get it on and it's really just the opposite so uh, not going to go into as much detail this time but I do want to show you how to take uh, the plow off the truck. If uh, you're a seasoned veteran of snow plowing or, or all that kind of stuff this video is not going to be too helpful to you uh, but maybe you're new and this is something that you could use uh, to help you as you're trying to figure out what to do and how to get your plow. Uh, off of your truck. If you're new uh, to the channel, if you could subscribe, like, and comment, it would be really, really appreciated. Uh, thank you so much, and let me show you real quick how to do this. And so first things first, very simply, if you have the option and you have uh, the ability to do this, store it somewhere uh, on a solid surface, somewhere level or as level as you can get it. It's not impossible if you have to store it you know, on the dirt or, or if you have to put it down on snow. It's not impossible to get it back uh, hooked back up but it will be so much easier if you put it on a level surface. So if you can do that, put it on a level surface. So now you're in your truck and uh, you are gonna pull up and so you got your controller here and uh, you can, it would be on. So I'm gonna pull up here to where I wanna put the plow. All right, so on your controller here, uh, like I said, that's power off and power on, all right? And so plow was up as I showed you. I just pulled up to where I want to put it. Now I'm going to drop the plow. I don't know if you could hear that or not. And then I hold that down until we go into the float position. That light here, that green light shows you that you're in the float. So if I raise it, see, a little bit, now I'm not in the float. I did not, you can't even see uh, that, I don't know what you would call it, but like that top plate the headgear part uh, didn't raise it the plow at all uh, but it's not in the float position and so you want it to be down uh, all the way in the float position and so I did that but I still there's I, I found that it, it's you get a better get it all the way down so there's the plow all the way up and then I like just so there goes the plow down hold it down and uh, now we are in the float uh, position so that makes it so much easier uh, to do that All right, so I've got it in the best view that I can to show you everything um, But if something in the camera doesn't pick it up, you just have to take my word for it. Try it yourself <laughs> Okay, uh, so uh, you're in the full position. So uh, cylinders all the way up or in and uh, so what I like to do first is I like to unplug everything. Um, I've seen other guys where they take everything off, they forget to unplug stuff, and then they you know back out, rip it all out. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug uh, here the plugs. All right, so after I get that all tucked away, what you want to do next is, and I'm going to have to walk back around, but here you have uh, your jack stand, and so you're going to want to get that all the way down. Normally, I don't stand in front of the plow to do that. So you're going to want to pull this handle out, and your jack stand goes all the way down, and make sure that this handle is kicked outside of this uh, latch, if you will. and. Uh, now your jack stands all the way to the ground. You're ready to take the plow off. 
and then pushing on the, the metal frame. Don't push on the lights. Push up, pull down on the handle, and I don't think that it caught it in the in the video, but when I pushed it down on those handles, or I pulled down on the handle, these pins pop out. And when I did that, the plow is now loose and it is ready uh, for me to back out uh, with the truck. And so I backed the truck out. One of the things that I like to do is I like to put a cement block on the back side here. Um, maybe you don't have to do that. Uh, if you have another suggestion, I'd love to hear what it is. Put it in the comments below. Uh, but the reason that I like to do that is because even here um, on this pad, it's kind of old and it's not necessarily 100% even. And uh, the, like, the whole top part can flop down on the plow if a big gust of wind comes or something like that. So I just like to throw a cement block on there and with the block on there, uh, I've never had that happen before. So uh, there you go. That's how easy it is uh, to get your uh, Fisher Minute Mount plow uh, unhooked from the truck. All right, thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.